This, ladies and gentlemen, is the future of electric vehicle charging. I know I'm just as excited as you must be. It's got rapid chargers, Tesla superchargers, a solar canopy, meeting pods inside, exercise bikes, electric scooter hire, a games area, picnic tables, test drives available with the latest EVs, electric car leasing, a nice shop and a cafe. This electric forecourt has got everything. Oh, and toilets. But before I show you around this fantastic forecourt, let's not forget that Tesla is well underway with the construction of this beast, a supercharger location in LA, and for the first time, a Tesla diner and drive-in theatre. Charging your car will be a fun day out in the future. I don't know about you, but I never used to get this excited about visiting a petrol station. Anyway, back to Britain. I'm in Braintree, yet another strangely named place in England, where driving into this forecourt is like a dream come true for electric car geeks like me. It's hubs like this that will gradually replace traditional fuel stations, and provide super quick and easy charging for those on the go or for the 25% of folks in the UK that don't have a parking space or driveway to charge their vehicle at home. In and out of somewhere like this, job done. The majority of UK drivers travel just 20 miles a day on average. Pair that with the average range of new electric vehicles being around 300 miles, and topping up once a fortnight is achievable for those who do less than 10,000 miles a year. It's becoming very difficult to travel anywhere in the UK without being close to some sort of charger, no matter what the mainstream media might be telling you. Here there are 36 rapid chargers, each thankfully with contactless payment. Or you can set up a GridServe membership where you can save 20% on charging all summer, or what's left of it perhaps. Setting up an account is simple using the app, just like the one-off process of setting up your Tesla account for the first time, giving you seamless charging for the rest of time. The solar canopy doesn't just shelter drivers from the very occasional rain we get here in the UK, but also powers the entire site minus the chargers. Those are powered from GridServe Solar Farm, 44 miles up the road. It's a 60-acre solar farm that produces 10 gigawatt hours of energy a year. That's 10 million kilowatt hours of electricity. The solar canopy is paired with a 6 megawatt hour battery on site. That's a 6,000 kilowatt hour battery, enough battery storage, for example, to travel 26,000 miles. Every home and business could be powered in this way. Microgrids, virtual power plants, energy independent homes are all within reach. The technology exists, we just need to adopt it into our lives and embrace change in order to reap the benefits. Be the change, adopt an EV into your life, say goodbye to burning fuel and hello to powering it from an ever greener national grid. If not your own solar someday where you can run your car on sunshine juice. It's hard to fathom the negativity sometimes slung at EVs. As someone who's owned one for five years now and had the fortunate ability to charge on a cheap overnight electricity tariff thanks to Octopus Energy, link in the description if you want to split £100 with me, EVs are just such a no-brainer if you don't like burning money, that is. A point made clear from GridServe is that internal combustion engine drivers are more than welcome to come and have a look around, talk to experts about switching to an electric car. You can test drive loads on offer right from the GridServe forecourt, of which there are many around the UK. At this location there was a GWM Aura 3, MG4, a BMW i4, Tesla Model Y, a BYD Dolphin and a made in the UK Vauxhall Mocha. Just bring along your driving licence and any of these cars can be yours for an hour test drive. Inside the building there are all the obvious things you'd expect from a nice service station, as well as meeting pods which you can book out for free, a games area for kids, loads of nice seating and viewing areas across the forecourt, and even a couple of exercise bikes that help toward charging the cars. I might have made that bit up, but it'd be good if they did, wouldn't it? GridServe, formerly known as Ecotricity's Electric Highway, has become one of the UK's most prominent public charging networks for electric vehicles. GridServe's charging network spans across the UK, with a significant presence at motorway service stations covering about 85% of these locations. This extensive coverage aims to facilitate long-distance travel for EV owners, ensuring they have access to charging points wherever they might need them. Types of chargers GridServe offers a range of charging solutions from 22kW AC chargers to ultra-rapid 350kW DC chargers. The pricing varies by the power of the charger, with AC chargers being the cheapest option at 49 pence per kilowatt hour, while both medium power, up to 60 kilowatt, and high power, up to 350kW DC chargers, are priced at 79 pence per kilowatt hour. 
This is unfortunately the very top end of pricing for electricity in the UK. From my experience, Tesla superchargers are around about 40 pence per kilowatt hour, but I can charge it at home on a cheap overnight tariff with Octopus for you know, about seven pence per kilowatt hour. What myself and others would really like to see is VAT going from 20% on electricity for public charges down to in line with 5%, which is what we are charged for our home electricity. That would help these prices become lower, more EV adoption because of cheaper charge rates. That's what I'm hoping anyway. This is covered really well by Quentin Wilson of Faircharge, who's trying to push this through Parliament to get them to listen and to lower the price of VAT. I'll link in the description to Quentin's campaign there. Beyond traditional charging points, GridServe has introduced electric forecourts, which mimic traditional petrol stations but are dedicated to electric vehicles. These forecourts not only provide charging, but also amenities like coffee shops and micro supermarkets, enhancing the charging experience. GridServe has ambitious plans for expansion, aiming to deliver over 5,000 high-power chargers by 2025. This expansion includes the development of electric hubs, super hubs and forecourts across the UK. A notable investment includes a £526 million green loan to further expand its network, targeting 3,000 charge points at 500 sites, significantly boosting public charging infrastructure. GridServe emphasises sustainability by integrating renewable energy sources into its charging network. For instance, some stations are equipped with solar panels and there's an integration with hybrid solar farms aiming for net zero carbon charging. The pricing strategy across GridServe's network is standardised, especially for DC charging, ensuring consistency across different locations. This approach helps drivers predict costs, which is crucial for planning long journeys. GridServe focuses on enhancing the user experience through real-time information on charger availability via their website and apps like ZapMap. They've also introduced features like accessibility for disabled drivers at certain locations, indicating a broader approach to inclusivity in EV charging. There's a mix of excitement about the expansion of charging infrastructure and concerns over costs of rapid charging. However, GridServe's efforts in providing high-speed, reliable charging options are generally well received, especially for those who see the value in quick charging times for long-distance travel. GridServe's approach not only addresses the practical needs of EV charging, but also aims to redefine what charging stations can be, turning them into social and retail hubs. This holistic strategy positions GridServe as the leader in the UK's transition towards sustainable transportation, offering both convenience and forward-thinking visions for EV infrastructure. After visiting this place for the first time, GridServe are clearly growing into becoming as familiar as BP Shell or the supermarket petrol stations of today by building out the infrastructure we need for an ever-growing EV market. You might notice it looks a little quiet here on a Sunday evening, but remember that just 3.5% of today's cars in the UK are fully electric. This is changing fast. The UK just hit 23% new EV sales in August. It's clear we are just at the beginning of the transition to EVs, sustainable energy and a cleaner, greener future for all of us. If you want an exciting day out and find your local GridServe electric forecourt, pop to gridserve.com to see active, planning approved or in planning locations. Not to mention the vast amount of standard rapid chargers they already have across the country. Let me know in the comments below your experience with GridServe or what you think of this place. I'd love to hear from you. If you missed my exclusive interview with Darren Yong, where we discussed China's charging infrastructure, EV brands and general Tesla chit chat, click this next. A special thanks to all my new Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for your support. It's fantastic. I can't thank you enough. You can join us too over on Patreon using the description below to get bonus content from me, early access videos, Q&As, meetups and more. I'm Will. This is the Tesla Jigsaw. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.